Dude, I was walking. I was walking. This is not even a great story, but I was just walking. I was uh, walking the end. I was walking the end. I was yeah. walking. I saw. I saw a tree on the road. <laughs> no, I. I. I uh, <laughs> yeah. I saw. I was walking into my apartment, oh. uh, and I saw like it was like two a.m. Mm. and uh, I saw a guy with like his girlfriend or whatever outside, and he was like grabbing your face, like not assaulting you, but he's like grabbing your face, like very like by the cheeks basically. And he was like, "Don't talk down to me ever again." I was like, "Oh my!" God. I almost <laughs> called the cops. <laughs> <laughs> and I just went inside and I oh, ate my oh, chicken, and then uh, that was it. <laughs> That's a great story. I, sh am I gonna? Be, am I a bad person for that? Uh, in, 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 the guy was big, by the way. He was a gigantic man who could have killed me. I mean, it sounds like he was being a jerk, but it doesn't sound like you observed <laughs> anything. He didn't have any black eyes. Was... Julian, what? What did you get up to this week? What did we get up to this week? The the fan f fell on our heads and That's crushed true. us both. How did that happen? It just happened. Tell me the whole story. Really, yeah, why don't you tell the whole story? Okay, I was sleeping, and it was very nice. Were you weeping? And, uh, the couch is positioned right underneath the fan. Yeah. You, you it's not right underneath the fan. It's... it's... It would've- it blade. probably might have hit you, but Julian, it's... the blade clips the couch. It was, uh, I was sleeping, and I heard loud knocking. I thought, oh, someone's at the door, because we had ordered something, and I keep missing the male person, yeah. so I, I freaked out, I got up, I was gonna go answer the door, and then just as I get up to go over to the door, just as I'm heading over, the fan crashes down on it's the floor behind fan. me. There's a spinning ceiling fan. Yeah. Did it spook you? Nothing. Uh, mm-hmm. What was the noise you made? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I heard you, I heard you shout, and then I, and then I heard the, cause I think you said, oh, right? Cause you were like, oh, it's the mailman. Yes. And you woke me up. I, I heard you shout and there was a big crash. And I f jumped out of bed because I constantly worry. Oh, it's fucking hard. I constantly worry about like some horrible thing happening while I'm asleep and then I miss it. Mm. Do you ever flush? I remember, uh, I have a story. When I was, I think I was like 12 or 13. I went out trick or treating and I, I made an Oogie Boogie costume out of real burlap over the course and of like a, a week or something. Took me a really long time to make, mm. and then, but I like the cloth is actually stiffer than it looks. I didn't know that you would have to weigh it down or something. Oh, and so the point was sticking straight up, and when I went out, <laughs> when I went out, everybody was yelling at me for. And being you took a, it off. Said no, I'm a brown. <laughs> to say I was a KKK member, that was everybody was like, that's, that's not, that's not cool, man. And I was like, oh, it's not, that's not. That's what like I am. the South Park episode. That happened Cartman to me in New. Thought he was a ghost. <laughs> that happened to me in New York. Did it? Yeah, I, I bought this like monkey. I bought this Klansman outfit, and they thought that I was just <laughs> no, boogie boogie. No, no. Boogie boogie. I bought. A, <laughs> Tell it's my boogie boogie. My Halloween costume was a fucking morph suit of an ape. So I was like skin tight and like had an ape face, oh and, I, and I had a beanie on and big boots. Oh, <laughs> so, so this guy came up, this black guy came up to me. He's like, "So, uh, what the fuck are you supposed to be?" And I was like, "A silverback gorilla." And he was like, uh, ha, 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 "Later." <laughs> I was like, "Who?" He <laughs> was scary. <laughs> he was. Scary. He was. He was gonna stab me because I was. Being, I was me. being accidentally racist. Children are pure of heart. They can't. He wasn't racist. a child. He was fucking old. I said you're a child. I was. Get that was here. last year. Wait, you did that last year? It was like two years ago. How did you do that? When, when, when I didn't. You such a fool. When was the last time you went trick or treating? I didn't think it would be racist to fucking. All you did was put on big boots, a backwards baseball cap, and a the giant only reason I wore boots and a beanie neck. was because I was walking around New York at nighttime and I didn't want my feet to get wet and my head was cold. I said, what are you supposed to be? And I said, yeah, boy. I said, you, you. <laughs> oh, <Yeah>. no. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean that. I one of you guys. <laughs> fellow costumer. What if to, yeah, to <laughs> <laughs> My you, fellow Halloween. You, you did the classic Halloween, like, kid special bit where you said, hey, nice costume, man. Yeah. But that's not what happened. That's actually, you just reminded me of a scary thing that happened. I mean, what I, a scary I, thing. When I was living with Niall, uh, he, he was getting annoyed with the clock. He takes the batteries out and leaves it on the counter. The next day, the clock's back up on the wall. I'm like, God damn it, because I didn't like it either. I take out the batteries and put it on the counter. And then we, we both find out we did the same thing. And we're like, why, why did... Why was the batteries put back in the clock then? And neither of us knew why. And then it turns out it was because he actually put it up, but he was messing with you. It, probably. Well, there was weird <laughs> shit that happened in that apartment where... 
My fucking ketchup just exploded out of the cupboard one night. Are you saying your apartment was haunted, Chris? Yes. There was a ghost, and he made the ketchup blow up. I don't he, believe in ghosts. And he made me leave my food out, and it got moldy. I don't believe in ghosts, but ketchup exploding from inside of a cupboard doesn't make any sense. And it 100%... No, I can, I can see that happening. Why? Just because from pressure? Absolutely. Cupboard pressure? Or it fell down or something. No, it didn't. It exploded from within the cupboard. The explosion clearly and happened then, from within and the closed... I could see the ghost of an old woman through the ketchup That's me. As that was my out. story. Don't make fun of Chris for my story. I just said I don't believe in ghosts. <laughs> I'm just saying it makes no sense. When me and Amin went to see Kings, mm -hmm. and uh, there was this guy on our left, and he was with his fat, fucking nasty bitch wife. I yeah. kept pummeling her down the stairs. No, dur dur <laughs> during the during the opening trailers, he was like, "You you want popcorn? Get you popcorn?" And she's like. I don't want popcorn. You go go get some for yourself. And I was like, if they're gonna do this during the movie, I'm gonna fucking freak out. I'm gonna shout at them. And when he walked through the door, he was like scratching his ass, and then he moved his arm away, and there was a gun sticking out of his pants. <laughs> so I was like, I guess not I'm not gonna ask that. him to be quiet. That's kind of scary. And then she stood up in front of the screen and said, "Excuse me, everybody. I want popcorn. Can you give me some?" <laughs> no, during the movie, they wouldn't shut up. They kept going like, "Oh, that's funny." <laughs> It's like, FUCK YOU! Chris. And during, uh, wait, 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 uh, what was the last thing? I, the, the one bef before that, it was an Armenian man and his wife sitting directly behind me. And every single time and a joke drove happened- sports cars through the theater. <laughs> <laughs> every time something happened, the man went, What? And his wife would explain it to him, and he'd go, Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you! You know, uh, one of the first times, uh, I was doing sexy shit with my first girlfriend, uh, my mom and dad like left the house, mm -hmm. and I was like, "It is time." And I like <laughs> brought her into my room, and uh, actually, no, I think we were on the living room couch. But anyway, she took she took off her pants. I was like, "Oh," and we were like doing stuff. And then uh, my mom and dad like pulled back in. And I saw the lights. Oh. And I was like, "Oh fuck!" Right? And I, I like I like ran That's to the door. Horrifying. I was like, "Put on your pants!" And I like ran to the door. And I was so stupid that I, I just like left my, my pants open and my belt open hanging Aww. down and I answered the door and my face was all red and sweaty. And my mom and dad just looked at me like, you fucking idiot. And they just like brushed past me. <laughs> I, was like, oh. I mean, would your, yeah. what would your parents have done when they've been like, you are not to fuck? Basically, I mean, I was like 15. Yeah, yeah, that's how that goes. Uh, also, her dad was the guy I was scared of because he was like, he, he, he pretty much told me from the beginning, he was like, if you do anything like that, I will beat the shit out of you. And I was like, okay. Yeah, fear fear of girlfriend's dad. Yeah, I can relate to that. That's the most relatable shit in the world. One That's time why I was, I... like, I was at her house, and yeah. we were sitting on her bed, and he came in, and he saw me sitting on her bed, and he got really angry. It was just because I was sitting on her bed. Oh, uh, I've got too many stories about this to even count. That's why I make a <laughs> damn game about it. Oh, you're so right. Yeah, Chris, I don't think it's even point and click. I think it's just kind of wait for stuff to happen, the it's, game. It's like a whole game of, like, those freak out games. It's like the maze game thing. You do a maze and then what? the guy jumps oh, out fucking, of here. That scared me. <laughs> Chris's whole leg moves <laughs> from that. This reminds me of a screensaver I used to have on Windows 98. Of an old lady crying? No, it was like a haunted sobbing mansion. Sobbing for her dead child. It was a haunted mansion that would make scary noises. And one time, my dad's friend's daughter visited from England, and I left the computer on. It scared the shit out of her at nighttime because it was making all these scary noises. <laughs> oh. Was that Tomo or is that the game? Was so oh was my me. god, I thought that was the game. I was like, that's a, that was a bold choice, holy <laughs> shit. As a kid, Chucky scared the fuck out of me. Because if nobody knows, I am I was terrified of blinking dolls as a child. So <laughs> blinking? see- Blinking? Why do you mean blinking? Like dolls that blink. Why, you know, why blinking? Why? What? what? I, I don't know. It's an. It, it's one of those phobias that people have that they can't really explain. Okay, that's fair. It's just uncanny when a doll blinks and yeah. you don't do anything. Yeah. The idea of that is scary. Like I remember one time I was grounded and I was in my room mm. and there was my sister's doll was on a chair and I was looking at it and the whole time I was like, don't blink, don't blink, don't blink in my mind, and then it fucking blinked thirty minutes later. <laughs> And it, it blinked. It like you blinked. Up. And it, I remember that, and I couldn't say anything. I couldn't scream. I was so scared. But I'm, I know that was just my brain playing tricks on me because I was thinking that it Were was you blinked. in the dark? Like the dead of the dark? Yeah, it was dark. dark. No, no. My eyes play tricks on me in the dark, too. Yeah, it was yeah. dark, and the light was shining on its fucking stupid face. Yeah. And I could see it. 
It was like something out of a horror movie Wait. where the light only shined on a dumbass weird face. Is this like sleep paralysis or something? No, I was, no, I was awake. <clears throat> I was well. leaning on my bed looking at it, hoping it didn't blink. <laughs> and then it just blinked. Just sitting there. It blinked? blinked? What? It blinked. The doll blinked in your room. No, yes. I, 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 he's saying he thinks it was like uh, an illusion or I, that I, he I'm imagined I'm pretty sure my brain like... Oh. Because it's one of those things where it's like, it's happened before where I was laying in bed like recently a neighbor died at my mom's house. Yeah. And I was and thinking, one into the doll. no, no, no. He used to walk by our house all the time, so I, I would be used to seeing a shadow when he'd come by to like get the lawnmower. Mm. And he did that like constantly. So he died a day before he usually got the lawnmower. Oh. So the next day when I was asleep at night, I remember what a shadow looked like. I was like, man, I'd be so terrified if a shadow walked by my fucking <clears throat> my. Like vividly lit up room, yeah. And a shadow walked by my fucking That's room scary. right when I thought that, That's and scary. I ran outside because I was like, I was just, I was almost in like panic. This I was couldn't recent? believe what I saw. No, this was like ten years ago. Oh, okay. And this is your brain going insane. Yeah, it was, dude. Your brain can do a lot of scary shit. If you're like, if you're constantly like, I don't want to see anything. I don't want to see anything. You're gonna fucking see something. Yeah. Because you right. put your brain on edge. Do you ever have something like where you like? I have a chair in my <laughs> in my bedroom. Yeah. And there's a, like there's a shirt hanging over the mm. side of something. And I always wake up in the corner of my eye and it always looks like a person and it freaks me the fuck oh, out. Oh, that fucking like, sucks all, so like, bad. Every, I don't move this shirt and it happens every morning. I think there's someone look, standing over me. That's happened with like a coat rack, definitely. <laughs> with like weird like like raincoats and yeah. shit really give off weird illusion. Because when I used to have my room in the main like foyer entrance when you come into like my mom's house, my the room fuck? used to be right there and there was a coat <laughs> rack. What did you just do? He put a walket in his pocket. Wow. <laughs> a wall locket. <laughs> No, but when uh, Corey, Corey when I was, was younger, that shit used to happen to me too. Where uh, my grandma had this weird uh, blue painting of like a, an old Irish lane with a mansion at the end and like little people on horses at, yes. at the bottom. And I used to just look at it, and they'd be like walking around and like moving, and the trees would be swaying, and it would just be like scary. Yeah, but at night, like yeah. it's because shadows, any kind of shadow that's like moving creates like the illusion that it's like it's your brain. That's why when people say, like, I saw shadows at night when I was in a place alone with no one else there and only me and my fucking self. Yeah. It's like, yeah, of course you saw a fucking shadow walking by you unconspicuously. You want to hear something else that's kind of funny? Yeah. One night when I was really young, I had to sleep in my mom and dad's bedroom and uh, they had a, oh, a no. sim. They had a, they had a, no, they're not, they didn't fuck or nothing, but they had a similar. They <laughs> fucked next to you. You went, oh no, here we go. And they were like, Chris, stop <laughs> making so much noise. No, no, noise. shut they, up. They, they, at you. <laughs> they had a. They had a similar painting on their wall that was like a weird, like old timey painting, and I, I would look at it and I would see little things move, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'd look over at my dad, who was also like just awake in bed, and he'd look over at me, and then look back at the painting, and there'd be little moving guys look back at him, and he'd look back at me, <laughs> and, I, what? and I was just like, wow, he knows what he's not, he, he sees it too, he knows what's going on. And then in the morning, I'd be like, Dad, remember those little moving things? He was like, no, you were just freaking me out. And I was like, <laughs> like, was like oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> and the little moving guys, they say, shut up. No, those little moving guys are fucking assholes. I mean, we, we talked about this before. We talked about, like, sleep paralysis. Like, I haven't had sleep paralysis in quite a long time. Yeah. Oh. But I I have seen, like, at my old dad's house, when we used to live um, somewhere. I don't know where the fuck. It wasn't Vermont, but it was maybe somewhere in Iowa. Ooh, um, we Iowa. I used to live next to a playground. Yeah. So we saw shadows a lot. So we didn't live next to a playground like right across the street was a playground right and um i remember i used to see like people on the, the ceiling just dancing just spinning around just <laughs> shadows just dancing that's scary i recently just made a uh, my sleep paralysis demon in blender really what? yeah I so i didn't forget it oh shit that's here awesome. it's on screen right now Wow. Ah! <laughs> Why do you put that on we're playing game, Chris? I'm sorry. What the fuck? Is that a Satan? That was God. Is <laughs> that Satan? Sonic, get on the train. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, so... So if you heard a booming voice that said <laughs> that, that didn't said, sound like a fucking said, microphone on a said, train. I Chris, told you it's fucking if you, God. You stepped outside and you heard a booming voice that made all the windows on all the buildings shake, and it said, "Chris O'Neill, give me all your money." I'd be really frightened. And you, you would say, "I'd be terrified." You would say it's Satan. I would assume some fucking Illuminati <laughs> shit's happening. <laughs> well, everybody around you looks up. Nobody knows who I am. No, but they all- they're all like, what the fuck was that? What if everyone in the street turned and looked at me at the same time? <laughs> what if that everybody- happened? Wow! 
What if you could pick up everybody on the street like this? That and... happened to me on a small scale once. I was walking by. I was there's. Uh, <laughs> Just I was, stole a guy. <laughs> I was walking by He's a Yoshinoya's, okay, and I was thinking to myself, like, who the fuck eats a Yoshinoya's? Like, that's because I remember trying it when I was younger, and I didn't like it. And I don't know why anybody else would, because I. It's probably not very good. Maybe it no! is. The, oh, he's he dead. killed a man. But my point is, I was I was staring into it and thinking, who could possibly want to eat there? Yeah. And then I'd like to eat there. There was like five or six people sitting in there, and they all looked at me, huh. and I got freaked out. <laughs> they all said it in unison. Us, Julian, we <laughs> eat here. You fucking jerk. Do you guys like slugs? Slugs are okay. Slugs are nice. I hate slugs. Chris, how come you hate creepy crawlies? I don't know. I'm scared of them. I like little beetles. They're fun. My sister ruined my life. <laughs> she turned me into like a just slug. Unrelated. I used to love bugs, and then she made me fucking terrified of them because of how terrified she was of them. Uh, What'd she do? She, she probably in, just freaked out she every time. She came in and whispered in your ear, Chris, they're coming to get you. Yeah, she... <laughs> there was a time when, um, we had, like, bricks outside of our house just because we had extra bricks left over. And my mom was like, move those bricks. And she, she casted a brick to bug spell on it. No. That terrified you? No. I picked up a brick and there was a huge, a huge, huge black spider on it. And I was just like, cool. But she screamed so loud, and she was so genuinely terrified that she almost had like a panic attack, and it made me afraid of them. And this was back in- this was back before Ireland even had any like, actual biting spiders. Now they do, for some reason. My toe freaking hurts. Yeah, Chris, uh, Chris got his- his toe cut off because of the diabetes. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> That'd be funny. Um, that's my greatest fear, honestly, is getting diabetes. Of the beaties? Yeah, yeah, my grandpa had diabetes and he was missing three toes. Fuck. All on the same foot. It sucks. If you drink too much diet coke, you might get it. I forget. I don't know if that's true. No, I'm just kidding. That'll give you, uh, kidney stones. But, uh, Tomar told me that I can get my ingrown toenail taken out, and I did that today. I didn't tell you, the fucking doctor, Tomer. You yeah. didn't fucking tell me! What's the story? That, uh, okay, so I go in, and in Ireland, I would have my ingrown toenail taken out every year at Christmas, because it was just something easy I could have done while I'm home. And, uh, so I go into this place, I go into the doctor's room, and he's, and he's this Armenian guy, and he's like, Hey, how's it going? I'm like, good, haha, <laughs> and he, goes, he starts laughing at me, just for no reason, and I'm just like, <laughs> okay. And he's like, being really nice, though. And then he's just like, talking to me, and then instantly, I'm not even kidding, he takes a syringe out from behind him and sticks it in my foot without me even fucking knowing it. I go, ah! And he goes, oh, what? You forgot your balls today or something? I'm like, ah! <laughs> and he's like sticking me with a syringe into my toe. I didn't know about that. Yeah. You yeah. didn't tell me that story. Right. Dude, he didn't even say what was going to happen. He just said like, oh, yes, your ingrown toenail. Don't worry. We can, we can fix it permanently. And I'm like, cool. So he sticks me with a syringe without a fucking word. And he's like, what? You don't have syringe sticking you? And I'm like... No, rarely, and he's like, uh, he's, he's calling me a pussy and shit. Then he does it again, and I'm like, ah! And he's just like, Jesus, you've got no tolerance for pain, do you? And I'm like, no. And then he's like, okay, I'm gonna walk out while this gets numb. And then he comes back in, and he's just like, does this hurt? And he grabs my toe, and I'm like, ah! Yes! He's like, he's still like making fun of me for having no tolerance. And then he walks out, then he comes back in again like five minutes later, and then He's like, okay, now tell me if this hurts. And he's like, he's doing the procedure now with this like little stick. He sticks it up my toe, and I'm like, ah, yeah, that hurts. And he's just like, no, that's just pressure. And I'm like, no, that's pain, that's pain. And he's like, oh, I guess it's not numb. So then he stuck me with a syringe two more times, and my toe was fucking covered in blood. I guess you're resistant to anesthetic. Yeah, I guess so, but my, my, my toe was completely white, and my whole foot around it was pink. You're completely white. Yeah, that's true. But, uh, yeah, that, that, that hurt, and now it hurts. But, uh, yeah. I didn't I, have- I went to the exact same guy, and I don't remember anything like that I'm not, I'm not kidding, he's the coolest guy ever, he's super funny, but that that was- that- I- I, I hate syringes. I mean, I think his strategy was to try to distract you so that you, like, yeah. wouldn't anticipate the syringe. Yeah. But it sounds like it backfired because you're resistant oh, to anesthetic. I forgot to even say the worst part was, um... One of the times he stuck it in my foot, this was after I had been stuck, so my, my toe was supposed to be completely numb, and he was amazed that I was still feeling anything, but he stuck it in, and I went, ah! 
ah! And he was like, oh, I hit a nerve, sorry about that. <laughs> it's so painful. Oh, man. So my friend Jack is this big buff Irish guy. He's like- He's been on the only plays, right? Yeah, Just... yeah, but people don't really know what he looks like. He's like a, a fucking tank. He's, he's the manliest man I've ever known. But when he went to college, he went to do some course and like it was just like a like either a medical or an engineering course. It's something really normal, right? Mm -hmm. But he said that he was standing at his bus stop and a guy just came up like in a trench coat. He's like, "Hey, you like Pokemon?" And he was like, "Yeah, I love Pokemon." And, like, but he doesn't even like Pokemon that much. He just remembers <laughs> just liking lied. Pokemon. Yeah, but then the guy gave him a fucking a memory stick with Pokemon Fire Red on it. And he, he said that he was doing that to everyone in his college. Just some fucking creepy guy was walking oh. around, giving people Pokemon Fire Red on a memory stick, and, he, and the whole college got addicted to it when exams were coming up. Wait, what, so what it was just is... like it was just like an emulator and yeah. a ROM of Pokemon Fire. Yeah, some Red. creepy fucking Irish guy was walking around. Was he like their age or was he yeah. like forty years old? No, he's just, he was it was some creepy guy their age, but he was wearing a trench coat and he's taking <laughs> memory sticks of Pokemon Fire Red out he of his trench coat. Like a like hundred of those. <laughs> I know. And he was just giving it to people for free. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> what was his end game? I, I don't know. It's so would, fucking weird. I, he just wanted people Dude, to trade probably, Pokemon with. He probably accessed everyone's fucking webcams or something. That does not add up. There's something. <laughs> so, there's like, it's so possible. Yeah, like, how do you know? Yeah, like, how do you know he didn't install a virus in the emulator? That's, that's probably a good point. That I never is, thought that about that. That's most likely what happened if you really think about it. He saw a bunch of coeds uh, uh, changing or something. <laughs> Have I told the story how I was fired from McDonald's? No. You got fired from McDonald's? Yeah, so I worked there as a teenager. Presence. Okay, McDonald's. Uh, as a kid, I, I was in high school, I worked at McDonald's. I remember working there and using my first paycheck to get Bioshock Infinite. Hmm. And being disappointed. But, anyway. <laughs> yeah. I, I was working at McDonald's, and what I would do is when I would make the nuggets, I would dip them in Habanero. Ha how about hero sauce? They had that available yeah. at the McDonald's? Yes, yes, and it was so good! McDonald's habanero sauce is fucking delicious! Yeah. So as I was working, I would... Left and right, you know, no workers in sight, no employees in sight. <laughs> and you know, then... Yeah. i dip it in, and then I would eat like a handful. But it was so spicy, it would make me fucking cry. So... They fired you for crying? No, no. Oh, hey, look, there's a shotgun you room. did it! So... I, you know, well, okay. All other staff members, there was solidarity. Oh. We wouldn't, we wouldn't out each other or anything for eating on the job. Yeah. And and some managers totally don't mind. It's really just luck of the draw. Yeah. But the manager that was on shift that day was a fucking bitch. So I waited. I watched her go into the back room where she was super <laughs> far away. And this dude came up to me. He's like, dude. He's like, please, please take my shift tomorrow. I was like, no, bitch. <laughs> Get out of the way. I was eating the habanero sauce. He's like, please, please, please take my shift tomorrow. And I thought about it long and hard. And I was like, you know what, dude? I'll take your shift tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> and then I was like, just leave me alone. And I dipped the nuggets in the habanero sauce. Mm. And I made it, it was like the biggest, wettest dip <laughs> I had ever done. And I started eating it, right? And I was like, oh. And I was like literally fucking crying. And I'm like red in the face. And then I heard the manager come up behind me. She's like, oh, Dave, you're, you're taking this more on shift tomorrow? Mm. And I was like, <laughs> and like, there was, there's, wow. You ever had too much nugget in your damn throat? <laughs> <laughs> there was no swallowing. It was impossible. So you literally did the <laughs> No, thing. no. She was like, she was like, are you taking the shift tomorrow? And I was like trying to chew, but it, it was too late. She was like, turn around and face me now. Why aren't you looking at me? Oh my and I turn God. around and literally there's orange crap fucking pouring out of my mouth. My face is red and I'm crying. And she looks at me and she's like, get the fuck out. Oh my God, and what I, a horrible And moment. I got fired. That's what you get, you How did she bastard? know that you weren't just leaking meat and crying <laughs> over the death of your grandmother? Yeah, how, how would she not? <laughs> I should have gone back and been like, how'd you know? Dave, what did the guy's shift have to do with the story? Oh, because if I didn't take that, she would she we never spoke to each other. Uh, she would have never asked me shit if I didn't take that guy's shift. I was nice one time in my life. <laughs> and it made her fucking instant transmit behind me. And it sucked my it sucked dick. Yeah, I always I have this theory that karma works in reverse. Sometimes, Sometimes you're nice and it bites you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it that well there, there's there's the uh what is it? No good act goes unpunished. Yeah, something like that. I've yeah, heard unfortunately that that's real sometimes. Yeah. But you know what? They also say, the Lord beautiful Jesus works in mysterious fucking ways. Cause guess what? Working at McDonald's fucking sucks. And I'm glad I got fired. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm glad you got fired too, man. Thanks, bro. My dad beat the shit out of me for that though. 
<laughs> That's fair. In uh, Wexford, there's a place called Loftus Hall, where they say that, uh, one time, uh, so it was owned by a bunch of, like, rich folk, and it's like, this, like, manor. And it's spooky. Wait, 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 wait. Is this the thing where the demon flew through the fucking the yeah. roof? <laughs> yeah, he flew up through the <laughs> roof. Yeah, so tell the story from scratch. I was just making sure. I do know that story. It was where a bunch of, like, people were at this manor playing cards in the middle of a storm. And then a guy shows up and he's like, I am here now. And they're like, who is this mysterious man? And then he's like, so, playing cards, I see. And they're like, yes, come join us on this misty night. And then he was like, okay, and then, while he's playing cards, one of the, the maidens came over to, like, wipe his shoes. There was a little piece of dirt on his shoes. And then, uh, she bent down to wipe it, and she saw that he had hooves for feet. And, <laughs> and then she went, hooves for feet, my word! And he flew up through the roof. And, and he left- he left a hole in the roof. Yeah. And it's still there to this day. You're really happy that like, fucking some, uh, something fell from this like a tree. A, tr a tree <laughs> fell from the no, that, yeah. That's the janitor junk. fucking yeah. up. Yeah, that, that's fell. like. <laughs> he fell down through the roof and smashed everything, well, killing yeah. it. <laughs> but uh, I, I went to a tour of that place. My whole life, I built that up in my head like it was the most scary shit ever. And then I finally went to it, and it was the most lame fucking shit. Just a shitty ass fucking burned hole in the roof. They lit it on fire or some shit. <laughs> They're playing with matches. Oh, uh, my story is. Uh, this is this is at Magfest, uh, like years and years ago at this point. But there's this app called Yik Yak, and that lets you just sort of see like tweet like posts from other people, but only within the certain radius. Mm. So I was at Magfest and I was bored, and I saw a Yik Yak post saying like, if somebody wants to get sucked off, meet me by the crazy taxi machine. <laughs> and I was like, whoa, <laughs> that's fucking awesome. I was like, that sounds pretty cool. I was like, I'm not doing anything. I can go for getting sucked off right now. So I go to the crazy taxi machine and I start playing it. I respond to the post and I'm just like, yeah, I'm down for being sucked off. <laughs> no, you did not. I, I, I swear to God, I did. Are I you was serious? that fucking horny? Yeah, yeah, I was. And I wasn't seeing anybody <laughs> at the time. So I was like, this is cool. I was like, this is what living life is all about. So I said, yeah, I would like to be sucked off. That sounds very cool. And they you were said like, it very politely. <laughs> and I was like, please and thank you. Please suck me off. <laughs> I would really appreciate you like just gulp the cum out of me. I would really just love that. <laughs> so I, I go to the arcade place to play Crazy Taxi, and uh, I'm just chilling out, I'm playing it, and nobody's really nearby, and uh, then all of a sudden, like, they, they said, like, they'd be there soon in, like, the little thread there, and the thread's, like, totally anonymous. Right. So I'm like, okay, cool, just gotta, I'll just enjoy this cool game till uh, my cock gets sucked off. <laughs> and uh, then all of a sudden, like... You know, people wait behind each other to play arcade games, but all of a sudden there's like this creepy fucking like old dude who's like 60 years old and like he's way older than anybody else at MAGFest and uh, he's just there and I'm like, oh, okay, well maybe he wants to play. I hope, I hope the video suck me off yeah, soon. Yeah, he does want to fucking oh, play. Yeah. And uh, then all of a sudden I'm like checking the phone. They're like, I'm not seeing any response. I'm like, wait a minute. I was like, what if, what, what if they're not actually a girl? And then I'm playing the game, and the person's just kind of like licking their lips and like Dave. looking at me, and their hand is on the chair. This is you. This is you. This is you waiting for him, Dave. Really, like tracing the really outline of your shoulders. I'm fucking like, <laughs> like fire shooting out of my cocks. I'm waiting. Dave, how do you? Well, he said the old man is like fucking oh, rubbing yeah. up his cock. Is yeah, that, exactly. That's what the old saying. man is getting max exceeds looking at me. <laughs> So I'm sitting there, and I'm playing the game very nervously at this point, fucking up all the drop-offs in Crazy Taxi. <laughs> and, uh, the person on the- the person on my phone, they respond, I'm like, oh my god, okay, okay, w what are they gonna say? Oh, I heard this part. You uh, said you could hardly contain your boner and turn around. <laughs> no, that's not it. I could contain my boner, I was getting scared looking at them. You could. Well, like, I could see them in the reflection of the game, and I was getting fucking nervous. And then the phone, I checked it. And they said, I'm here, winky face. Oh my god. And like, god. the old man's looking at me, and I'm like, oh my fuck, oh my fuck, I regret this, I regret this so fucking much. And like, I don't know what to do, I'm like sweating, it's like, I don't want to be sucked off by an old dude, and I'm being looked at weird. And like, the time on the counter's running down, and it's, it, it, it's just like, really bad. Time's running out. Exactly, and then like, I don't know what to fucking do. And then all of a sudden, they like, tap me on the shoulder, and they're like, are you done playing the fucking game yet? Like, I've been waiting for my turn for fucking forever. <laughs> and I was like, oh, 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 okay. 
And then I checked my phone, and they're like, where are you? I'm by the crazy taxi machine that's by Dig Dug, and that's the one across from the arcade place. Oh. And I was like, oh, thank God. I was like, are you a guy or a girl? They're like, I'm a man, baby. I was like, all right, fuck this. You <laughs> 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 should fucking said it to begin with. Fuck you. You deserved every moment of that. I, yeah. I, I do, but... Yeah, I do. You do. And also, uh, that means you had probably the best game of Crazy Taxi of all time. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think that, anyone... That timer really fucking meant, like... <laughs> it did. It, 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 it really was a real-life experience. Yeah. I was, see, I've never been, like, more, like, awkwardly nervous in my whole life. Are you going to, uh, associate Crazy Taxi with that from now on? Uh, kind of. I've totally fucking Sorry. learned my lesson. So every I've... time you play Crazy Taxi, you'll see the silhouette of a fucking old man <laughs> behind you running his cock. Delicious. <laughs> 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 this is going to be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you destroy the last cherry tree? Yeah, I'm, you I'm panicking. I forget <laughs> every. I forget control the entire Jeff. control screen for this. He fr listen. He had to tell a story. Story's over. Hey Jeff, you tell me crazy stories about all of your sexts and weird shit like that. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you a story my mom stories. told me the other day. We were we were, my parents had on the movie. Uh, spoilers to this movie, but Shutter Island. Oh. And at the end. I don't know if, if you've seen it, the the wife drowns their kids, right? Yeah. And my mom get all like, she like covered her face, and I'm like, I'm like, my mom likes Quentin Tarantino movies, so I don't know why the hell she was getting all weird about the end of this movie. And I'm like, what happened? And she's like, oh, I never told you this, but when I was in college, I would babysit my neighbor's kids, and the one time I came home, there were police cars outside. And I went over and the cop told me the wife took her kids out to the Delaware River and just drowned them. Oh my god. Oh my god. And she got what locked fuck, up man. in a mental institution. Yeah. Jesus. Why there did she go, do it? Even. She just didn't want to take she care of kids got anymore? Yeah, I guess. She just went nuts. Have wait, have you have you guys ever been to was it Disneyland that had a honey I ate the audience? Oh yeah. I remember what? That. That scared the fucking piss out of me as a kid. You got Vord? What yeah. is this? Yeah, because this at a certain point the snake eats the crowd in 4D. And when I was a small child and I saw that, it actually I wanted to cry. Dave, I don't think it's called Honey I Ate the Audience. I think it's called <laughs> Honey I Shrunk the Audience. Oh, right. <laughs> well, I just remember the part where the snake eats you. That was so scary as a kid. I didn't want to cry and look like a bitch in front of my family. So I just put my face down and like just fucking hyperventilated. Well, Dave, you'll be happy to know they actually got rid of that ride and replaced it with Honey I Crap the Audience. <laughs> what happens in that one? You don't want it all. <laughs> okay. Uh, Monica showed me this old Disneyland ride where it was basically like It's it's like a fucking alien ride or something mm -hmm. And you basically just get strapped in and they fucking have the the alien like go around and like fuck with you <laughs> and then uh They straight up like remove somebody from the chair and just leave a fucking skeleton there oh, So if whoa. you're a child and you rode it you'd think that somebody on your ride that's fucked, dude. That's yeah. really fucking cool. When I was a little kid and I saw Mars Attacks for the first time, it really horrified me because they just turn into skeletons. They also like melt Jack Black in that movie. Yeah, that really fucked me up. Not gonna lie. But, uh, <laughs> life has improved, I guess. <laughs> well, since you got fucked up. <laughs> yeah. It over there, Sue. I got it. Let's go over there right now. What do you say, guys? That map is tricky to follow when the camera go all over the place. No, it is fucking easy, and if you don't agree, get the fuck out of my house. Get the down, fuck out, you stupid Where's fucking... I will easily defeat you. I slap you with my glove. When I heard grandmother was dying in the hospital, I tried to run to her room, but the camera angle kept changing. A reindeer followed confused. me in and trampled her in her bed. I came in, <laughs> she had white skin, and she turned around slowly. I said, wow, this is the number one scariest moment I've ever experienced. <laughs> Jack locked himself out of his own house. Yeah, he did. I locked myself out of my bathtub and I couldn't find my way in. <laughs> Yuki was playing trick on you. <sighs> Someday I'm gonna just fill up the bath with boiling water and just throw him into it. <laughs> Didn't do it. I can't. Why? Too powerful. Yeah, Yuki's pretty buff, actually. <laughs> He's the buffest cat ever. Just he fucking his hissed at me last night. That was the first time he did that. It's not a good cat anymore. I thought, yeah, I thought he said he was a nice cat. He is a nice cat, but he hissed at me. I think you're spoiling him, maybe. No, you know what happened? What happened? He was bullying. <laughs> he was bullying Django, and he kept doing it. He kept like biting on Django, and Django would go. Nyeh! So I stood up on my computer. <laughs> I ran stomping at him. I was going, 
<laughs> he arched his back going, Shh, and I was like, shit, okay. Oh, Chris, <laughs> I don't think you can handle this cat, Chris. <laughs> okay, so I was in my home, and then I got a phone call. I get a phone call at the same time every single day, right? Uh -huh. it, it happens at 9 in the morning every day for the last year, right? This is what happened. Uh, I, I get this call. It's a scam caller, right? Okay. Every time I answer, it's always like, your student loans still haven't been paid. And it's oh. like, this is bullshit. I don't have you student loans. Yeah, you didn't go to school. But they changed it, right? This time they changed it, and it was like, your credit card is in big no-no. You're in trouble. And I was like, hmm. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna answer it. So I answer it, and it's like, your credit card is in big debt. They're like, like, do you want to speak to a supervisor? And I was like, yeah, but I did it. And then the guy's like, I got a real guy picks up and he's like, hello, sir, how are you today? And I'm just like, I'm fine. <laughs> how are you today? And he's like, uh, I'm fine, sir. Um, so as I can see from your file, it looks like your credit card has been in good standing for the last eight months. Is that true? And I was like, yes, my credit card is fine. It's been great. And then he went, Fuck you, motherfucker. Oh my and god. Went, what? <laughs> yeah, I went. <laughs> <laughs> I hung up. <laughs> I was scared. <laughs> I was like, holy shit. You got a narrow escape. This is a very it's nice Better than a wide game. one. <laughs> I widely escaped from him. The man with the very small knife. <laughs> the tiny man with the tiny <laughs> knife in the very wide alleyway. <laughs> <laughs> it was so scary. <laughs> but I widely escaped him. Let's do an episode of Oni Plays in the Sand so that we can go to be oh go to the beach. I would love to. I when I was younger I used to make sand sculptures on the beach and people would crowd around. Aw. And they'd all kick it. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid! They'd push me over and pour seaweed in my eyes. <laughs> they would bury you in the sand so your tiny little lungs would fill up with dirt. <laughs> They held seaweed over my face and ringed it into my eyeball. <laughs> Did you know SeaWorld ah! sea was going to have a spin-off that was going to be called Sand World? Really? And it was just full of sand. I, I believe it. <laughs> sand World. <laughs> Do you want to hear a funny story about you, SeaWorld? Yeah, go on. Yeah, go ahead. We were on the train to Comic-Con, and somehow SeaWorld came up in conversation, and there was this really scary-looking hobo guy sitting across from us with his family. He's like, SeaWorld! Ah, they released one of those great white orcas back into the sea after it bit a girl. And we were like, yeah? He's like, if they, if that, if that whale bit my daughter, oh, he got really mad and flustered. He's like, what are I, he's got a taste for blood now. We're like, okay. Taste for blood. Then he got off the train and was screaming on the way out. And then he turned into an orca and <laughs> swam away. It was me all along. <laughs> <laughs> His name was Mr. Whaleman. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> wow, look, we're- Oh, the windmills. Did we talk about the evil pizza man who poisoned us? No, let's talk about him. Okay. Tell me what he looked like. Uh, no eyebrows. <laughs> no really? hair. Uh, really, he didn't have eyebrows? No. I never got to look at him. I was just there while, you, while you it to, happened. Did you get to hear him at least? Not really. I saw you put down the pizzas on the ground, and I was like, why is he doing that? Because those? he told me to. He, this is a better view. We ordered a pizza uh, two months ago from a place, and the delivery guy came, and uh, even though it was a really normal tip that we gave him, he just came up and said, yes, bro, thank, thank you for tip. Thank you, bro, for tip. I really appreciate the tips. And I was just like, oh, did you... Did you not get the tip or something? Because Grubhub messes up sometimes. They don't actually... If you do tip through credit card, sometimes they don't give it. So I was going to give him cash out pocket. He's like, no, no, I got tip. I got tip. Very good pizza. You're going to enjoy pizza. Thank you so much for tip. And I guess he was just mad about the tip. He wanted more. Yeah. Even though it was an average size tip, it wasn't a problem. I... Uh, I'm not I'm not a I'm not a turd about that kind of thing and I was even willing to give him more but mm. as soon as he closes the door I open the pizza box and he fucking like threw the pizza Oh yeah, it was fucking mangled. Typically if they make small mistakes with orders, I don't call in a complaint or anything. I don't tell them like can you But it was like literally just a pile. Yeah. It was it was completely inedible. It was like somebody stuck a fucking egg beater into a pizza <laughs> box. And that's what you get. I 
I, I felt bad about doing it, even though he did fuck the pizza up intentionally. I ended up just, I contacted Grove up and I said, hey, can we get a refund at least on the pizza? Because this, I, I sent them a picture and I said, like, he, he like threw it. I don't know what happened, but it's been, it's been ruined and we can't even eat it. And they contacted me back and said, oh yeah, uh, we, we got you a full refund. Apparently he's a new employee and he's already received multiple complaints today. So, I got scared then because I'm like, is he gonna fucking come back now? Like, is he gonna get fired and now he's gonna come back because he knows where we live or something? But, uh, I, I tried to keep that in my memory to never order from there again, but that night when we were recording Pikmin, we ordered from there because I wasn't paying attention. We ordered pizza from there, and I was about to forget that, that all that happened, except he showed up, and as he was handing me the pizza and everything, he said, Put, put pizza on the floor. Open pizza. And I just said, what? He said, Check the pizza for me. Show me pizza. And I I look up at him, and I... It, I he was just, looking down at you? I It fucking hit me, and I realized it's him. It's two months later. He kept that in memory. He remembered us. <laughs> and he put me on the spot about that. He said to open the pizza box to show it to him. He says, yes, pizza looks good, right? Very good pizza. <laughs> And uh, I remember turning to you, Chris, and saying, I don't trust this pizza. Yeah, I know. And I said, what are you talking about? You're being paranoid. And what happened, Chris? <laughs> we, we all ate the pizza, and then I woke up at 6 a.m. that day. I, I usually wake up at fucking 4 p.m. Like, well, not all the time, but this week you I woke been. up really early with awful stomach pain. Yeah, we, we, I woke up at like 6 a.m., and I went, oh, and I just jumped out of bed and ran downstairs, <laughs> sat on the toilet, and I was just like sitting there in pain. And I, I could hear my body doing this like weird shit. It sounded that like it sounded like a super soaker blasting like a stream into a, a bucket of water, but inside my body. So I was like, <laughs> like inside of me, and I'm like, what the fuck? I'm so sorry. And I just started spraying fucking pure water out of my ass. And I was like, oh, and I was like in so much pain. And, and it went on for like the entire day. It was like nonstop. You probably got the stomach flu. I threw up from it. Oh. It made me really sick. Okay, do you, so what do you think happened? I have Did, no idea. I don't, how do you even... I what thought do you, you all had diarrhea. What do you put in a yeah, pizza? Yeah, you had diarrhea. But I always have diarrhea. <laughs> what do you put in a pizza to make it, to make somebody sick? I don't know. Uh, cum. That doesn't make any, that's not gonna make you sick. He was wee wee. <laughs> it was poopy. Like, it wouldn't be, like, fucking bleach or something, right? Well, I need to go to a I service station. I don't know. Station. I actually don't know. Oh, fuck. Oh, did you get lost? I the, got a speeding violation. The fact that all of us got sick from it. Maybe that pizza just stunk. Maybe it was shitty cheese or something. I don't know what it was. Maybe it wasn't that nice man's fault. Maybe he just looked like a super sane and he just gets <laughs> misjudged. Chris. Why do we say that, Chris? What? Chris, he, he <laughs> looked like a super saiyan. You said that. I said that. Oh, was it you? Because he had the super saiyan 3 brow Fuck. Going. So it made him so intimidating. But he... I suspect it's him, Chris, because he fucking remembered us, and that's the craziest part to me. That was two months ago, and somehow he kept that in his memory. <laughs> he was just... Uh, he was goofing around. What if the Russian pizza man came up to the door? <laughs> <laughs> I never saw him, so I wouldn't know who it is. Here's your fucking pizza. You didn't see him? No. You saw that he made me set the pizza box down, though. Yeah, you, I, I saw... Or you told me he had uh, Super Surfaces. Saiyan four eyebrows. Footage is going to surface later uh, at, from a different angle, and it's going to show that there was nobody at the door. <laughs> Ding Dong was talking to himself.